education is a future investment as the saying goes. The sense of education is certainly not far in terms of study, teaching, and learning. In the current industrial 4.0 revolution, the learning innovation to support educational system grew rapidly. Especially during the past year, nearly every country in the world was exposed to the coronavirus outbreak, including Indonesia. In such situations, the role of e-learning is increasingly needed for students, teachers, schools, or other educational institutions. The following will discuss advantages and deficiencies in the use of e-learning as a learning media. Basically, according to Gratika and Rita, on 2013, e-learning consists of two parts. E meaning to electronic and learning meaning to learning. So the word e-learning can be interpreted as a learning system that uses electronic devices as its medium of learning. In my opinion, especially as students and potential educators in the future, e-learning has had a considerable impact on advancing educational systems. E-learning has both the benefits and the advantages that is. 1. Through e-learning, students can access the knowledge at all times. Yes, means unlimited time and space. 2. Learning using e-learning can increase a student's learning motivation. This is especially true since learning through e-learning is usually a more interesting impression to students. It can also increase a student's learning motivation. 3. Through e-learning, students can explore more of the things they want to know. By like this, Students no longer make teachers the only information center. 4. Through e-learning, students can at once learn to use technology. As we know, in the industrial 4.0 revolution, as it is at the present time, there is an increasing demand for the establishment of technology in every country. But there's something else we need to take note of guys. Behind the grid, e-learning also has a weakness, among which is 1. E-learning requires steady network strength. But let's think of it for students who still live in rural areas. Forget the signal. Sometimes the electricity that's supposed to be the bare essential, it's still hard to get. 2. Not all students can understand the material being taught through e-learning. Some research proves that learning through e-learning is viewed as a less effective. 3. E-learning can limit social interactions with friends. 4. Because e-learning requires electronic devices such as gadgets and laptops in the long run, will also affect students' physical health. It is caused by signal radiations and light produce from the electronics used by students. There are many digital platforms that can support learning through e-learning, such as the Ruang Guru, Xenius, or Kuiper Video to learning applications. Even though so, the existence of e-learning is growing rapidly, in my opinion, learning carried out through e-learning still cannot replace the position and role of teachers as educators directly. E-learning only supports science, but e-learning does not support the psychological development, character, and social personality of children. That was my opinion about e-learning then what about your opinion thank you bye